Hey, today we're going to compare this versus this. Well, actually not just this Arduino versus this ESP32. Uh, we're pretty much gonna compare any development board versus any other development board. You might be wondering, okay, how am I gonna do this and not make this video seven weeks long? Well, you might have noticed uh, that I haven't uploaded a proper video in a couple of months. And the reason for that is, is that I have been working on something in the background that I'm hopeful will be a useful tool uh, for all of you. And so what I've built is an online database for development boards that is instantly searchable. Now, quickly before I tell you where you can access this website, let me just explain what it is and the features that you can use right now. On this website right now is a large database of microcontroller development boards that is instantly searchable. So you can type in any criteria, like let's, for example, ESP32 camera, and it will instantly show you all the ESP32s that have cameras that are currently in the database right now. And at any point, you can select two of them and hit compare, and you will get a clean side-by-side -side, uh, comparison table that will you can look and see what the differences are um, all the way down. You can also, at any point, click on a board and it'll take you to a detailed overview page of that development board. Uh, it'll give you a bunch of random information, um, all the specs, where you can buy it if you want to buy it. Um, it has all the documentation that I could find. So, you know, schematics, um, data sheets, any of that information, it's linked down on that page down at the bottom. And on top of that, finding a development board for a battery powered project is it's really a kind of a dark art. Knowing which ones work well for battery um, and how long your battery may last for your project is really hard to figure out in a lot of cases. And so I've tackled that problem as well, as best I could at least. And so what I've built is a battery life calculator. Now, to calculate how long a battery can last for a given uh, project, you have to know a couple of values. You need to know how much power does it draw when it's awake? How much power does it draw when it's sleeping? If it has a sleep function, like an ESP32. Um, and then you need to know some other stuff, like how long does your code run for roughly? You know, if it's 10 seconds or whatever. And, and how many times you want it waking up during the day. Now the first two numbers, you know, how much power does it draw when it's awake and how much power does it draw when it sleeps? That's a number, those are numbers that most people aren't gonna be able to figure out if you don't have the testing equipment for it or, um, yeah, more or less you need some testing equipment. So what I've done is for the boards that I can source that information on, that it is automatically plugged into uh, the battery life calculator on each of the detailed page for those boards. So you don't need to know that information. Now, I don't have those numbers for all the boards. Um, finding that information is really difficult in a lot of cases. I do have testing equipment to test that kind of stuff, but obviously I don't have all these boards in my possession, so I'll test what I have and I'll kind of go from there. But long story short, if you select a board that has that information, you don't need to know it. You can go down to the battery life calculator, select whether or not you know you want to have Wi-Fi or no Wi-Fi if, if the board supports that. Um, it'll plug that in and all you need to know is roughly how long does your code run for? So let's just say 10 seconds and how often you want it waking up to run that code. So, you know, every 15 minutes or every hour, whatever the case may be, it'll automatically do the math on that. And then you hit calculate and it will tell you roughly how long you're, you can expect that battery to last for that project with that board. Hopefully this is a really useful tool for people. I know that's uh, finding out how long a battery lasts for a project can be kind of important, especially if you're trying to make it a long period of time with the, running on a battery. Um, so it can either inform you that you need to get a different board for your project that's better at battery power, uh, running off of battery power rather, or you know, if you need to size up your battery to get to a certain time frame, you can type in all sorts of numbers. Um, you can also at any point enter your own numbers for any of these, uh, any of these fields. So if there's pre-populated, you can overwrite it and type in your own if you want, if you want to play around with that. So hopefully that's a useful tool. And again, that's on each um, of the board's detailed page. Just scroll down a little bit, you'll find the battery life calculator. Now, there's even more. Uh, if you create a free account, you can create a wish list. So if you wanna save some of these boards as you're scrolling or trying to find, um, so that you can find later, um, you can save this to a wish list. And you can also create uh, collections for the boards that you already own. And so it'll put uh, all the boards you own into a collection and you actually get some cool stats 
uh, one of which is the total value of your collection. That you can turn off in the profile settings if you don't want your spouse ever seeing that. So uh, that is an option as well. But yeah, anyways, the database is still a little bit small. It's got a little over 100 boards, which sounds like, like a lot, but as you start searching through it, you'll get through it pretty quick. Um, so there is a request board feature on the website in several places. Please, if you see, don't see a board that you're looking for that's in the database and you want it in there, use that feature, uh, submit a request for a board, and I will make those a top priority to try and get them added as quickly as possible. And if you have any feature ideas or you run into bugs or anything like that, you can use the report feature as well. Um, that way I can get it and get that stuff fixed and updated as best as possible. So the links to devboarddb.com are down in the description. I, there's also a Discord link. Um, I, have, I created a Discord for this, um, so you can always message me there if you're having issues or have suggestions or whatever, and uh, just generally chat. So, yeah, check it out. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, hopefully, it's a useful tool for all of you, and you'll get some good use out of it. So, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.